Hey guys, thanks for checking out LifeMed.ca. I'm Mike Dangerfield. I have with me here the S3 Panthera wheelchair, which is a terrific chair for someone who is developing their wheelchair skills. And I say that because the anti-tippers have this amazing option to be flipped in or out, right? So that someone who doesn't quite have the confidence yet to go out into the community and do the wheelies over the curb cuts, they can practice this at home. All right, and I'll just demonstrate that now. I'm still developing my wheelchair skills and I have the confidence, right, to practice that wheelie before I go out into the community. And then when I don't want to use it, it's very easy for me just to rotate them back in so that they don't get hung up if I'm going down a ramp or down a curb. Really great option. They can be removed at any time. So once the client does develop those wheelchair skills, we can remove the anti-tippers and reduce the weight of the chair. So folks, the other thing that I've learned about people who are developing their wheelchair skills is they're also developing their transfer skills. These arms are terrific because they're adjustable enough that it gives them some options, okay? First of all, they are height adjustable, right? So we can bring those up and down. But we can also bring them forward. And that can make a big difference for somebody who might put on their brakes and lean on that arm as they're transferring out of the chair, okay? And of course, they're easily removable. Another feature that's offered on the S3 chair as well as the U3, which is uh, really great when people are, uh, you know, developing those skills, heading up hills, heading up ramps, they might need the assistance of a caregiver when they're first getting started. So these uh, caregiver uh, stroller handles are an option that are height adjustable, right, on both sides. And now a caregiver could assist the client, helping them get up that ramp or that hill. And of course, they tuck away really easily. So they're only there if needed and they can be removed to reduce the weight later on. Okay, so here I have the U3, which is uh, also sort of a, a starter chair like the S3, but as you can see, the front end and the front rigging are tapered inward compared to the, uh, the S3 here where you've got a little bit more space for the legroom. Some people like that sort of tighter footprint and in those cases they probably want to go with the U3. So I'd like to take a moment now and show you the one-arm drive system that Panthera has come up with. I'm going to put it on our U3 chair but it is available for all of the Panthera chairs. This is the drive mechanism that basically replaces the axle and that's the insert for the quick release axle there. So what you want to do is you want to take your one arm drive wheel, in this case I'm going to set it up on the right hand side. So you've got your inside hand rim and then the outer one. I'm going to put this over here on this side. And then once we've got the wheels on, we'll add the, uh, the one arm drive axle mechanism. So that just pops in there like a normal uh, quick release axle would. This one doesn't require a hand rim because we're only going to be propelling from the right hand side. And then there's a couple of pins here that you want to lock them into place. Just pull those out, make sure they're inserted nice and tight. And now we're ready to uh, insert the one-arm drive axle mechanism. So it just goes in here and here and it's spring-loaded. So I hope you can see that. In this case, I'll put it in here and here. And now we're all set up. Okay, so I hope you can see this. What we've got now is an opportunity to propel to the right with the inside rim or we can use the bigger rim to go to the left or we can use them both to go straight. So for somebody who's uh, trying out a one-arm drive for the first time it takes a little bit to get used to but essentially what's happening is uh, you know this smaller rim is going through the one arm drive axle mechanism over to the left side here. So people would propel with two arms, would normally push harder on the left wheel to go right, right? Whereas with the one arm drive system, you can push on the inside hand rim to go right. So the inside hand rim is what's driving the left wheel. The larger outside hand rim is driving the right wheel 
So I could go left like I would normally. I can pull on them straight back to go straight. And if I want to go right, again, it's the inside rim that helps me go to the right. If I want to go left, it's the large rim. Right is the inside rim. Okay, so you know, it does take a little bit to get used to, but I'm confident that somebody who really only had the ability to use one arm would catch on quickly enough and this would give them the mobility and the freedom that they need to be independent. All right, so we've been talking about the U3 and the S3 chairs that are terrific Panthera chairs for someone who's developing those uh, wheelchair skills where they're learning how to do the curb cut wheelies and also transferring in and out of their chair. Once they've developed those skills and they're ready to graduate, then the U3 Lite comes into play. This is new to the Canadian market. It's around the same price point as the U3 and the S3, but it's a much lighter chair. Reason being, we've eliminated the anti-tippers here at the back. We've added a carbon fiber axle, and we've removed the armrest and gone with carbon fiber side guards here. You can still get the caregiver uh, flip-up uh, handles here, but they're lighter weight and smaller. And now, We've got one of the most lightweight chairs on the market, not quite as light as our uh, Carbon Fiber Panthera X chair, which may be the lightest chair in the world, uh, but still a very, very lightweight chair for somebody who's uh, really active and getting out into the community. I also love this uh, monolock uh, handbrake, so I'll just show that again. It's designed to go from one side to the other. We usually put this on the right side because typically uh, clients who are graduating into this chair, they're started, starting to think about uh, driving with the hand controls. So they're able to pull this chair up to their vehicle. Uh, you know, in North America, obviously the steering wheel is going to be on the left hand side. So this chair uh, is designed with the monolock so that they can lock it, transfer into their vehicle, all with one hand here on the monolock. Really, really great design. I love this chair. Um, it's very lightweight, very strong, hand welded. Um, if you couldn't afford to get into the Ferrari of all wheelchairs, like the Panthera X, then the U3 Lite might be perfect for you. Now the Panthera X is the most lightweight wheelchair I've ever come across in my career and I've seen a lot of wheelchairs. So, uh, obviously we've got a carbon fiber frame and axle here that's going to keep the weight uh, way down. Um, lightweight cushion that you can get from Panthera, but what's really, really unique is the way they do their seat depth and their positioning and their seating. Um, the chairs come with the Panthera upholstery and you can do uh, seat depth adjustments all with the upholstery. So basically you don't need to do this by frame. We can shorten the upholstery just by bringing it back here and loosening the Velcro. We can adjust underneath. Uh, there's tension straps here. This will allow us to put more dump in the chair, or more static tilt if uh, we want to create that pocket. Uh, for um, you know better positioning with seating and then of course the uh, breathable mesh fabric here This is all uh, tension adjustable as well So in a lot of cases, we don't even have to go with an aftermarket backrest, which is great I find that they add weight and they often uh, sit in front of the back gains here. They push the client uh, sorry the client forward so uh, You know, it's a, a really unique uh, way of doing the seating that they do uh, in Sweden and uh, throughout Europe that we're introducing here in Canada. And uh, overall uh, weight uh, basically is uh, just really, really competitive because of all of these designs that they've come up with at Panthera. So finally, what I'd like to do is actually weigh the chairs. I've got a digital scale here. Uh, I would encourage you to do the same thing. Uh, I find that with a lot of manufacturers and their marketing, they'll put a weight to be competitive on their brochure or their website. When we actually go to weigh the chairs, we get a totally different weight. So I'm gonna demonstrate right now what the actual weight is uh, on all four of our chairs from Panthera, and I would encourage you to do the same. The other thing you might wanna do is go to the triumphmobility.com website, and as you're specking out your uh, chairs on the order guide, there's a tally there that will actually tally the weight so you can see how much each component is going to uh, contribute to the overall weight. 
Okay, so here's the scale. We're gonna have to do a little bit of math here to, um, you know, just subtract the weight of the chairs. But as you can see, I'm an even 180 pounds today. So now what we'll do is I'll step onto the same scale with my Panthera X. This would be our transport weight without wheels. hundred and eighty six even so the frame of the Panther X is exactly six pounds which is incredible as you can see I'm just holding it up here in my hand very easy if I wanted to bring it across my body in a vehicle I could do that very easily okay so we're gonna sort of repeat the exercise here this time with the U3 light. And you can see that it's 189.2. So this frame without wheels and side guards has a transport weight of 9.2 pounds. Very competitive and it's a strong chromoly steel frame. Okay, so we're gonna try to weigh this for the S3 with a carbon fiber axle. Again, I've removed the wheels, the arms, as well as the uh, caregiver stroller handles. I'm at 191.2, so this weighs 11.2 pounds. Still very competitive. Uh, this chair goes a little wider for um, heavier uh, clients. And so now for the weight of the U3, and keep in mind this is with the, uh, the um, one-arm drive set up here, so it doesn't have the carbon fiber axle. One ninety three point two, so this is thirteen point two pounds with the heavier one arm drive axle hardware on it. 